Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to the Cracks Lab. So don't forget to share, subscribe and like our channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to write the lab report for our chemistry experiment. So what is needed in your lab report? After you have finished the experiment, uh, you will write a lab report that will conclude all the details about the experiment. So here are the things that we need. The first thing is objective and followed by theory and procedure and then some results and discussion and finally we conclude with the conclusion. Okay first, start with the objective. This one is stated in your lab manual. For the theory part, you need to summarize the theory of the experiments. This one can be found in the introduction part in your lab manual. You can rephrase the sentence or you can add your own sentences. So make sure that the theory of the experiment is included in a one paragraph. So for the procedure part, make sure that you use past tense and passive sentence. So do not write, I wake the beaker. Instead, you can use the sentence, the beaker was weak. So you can see that we used the past tense and we avoid the word I, you or they. In the results section, you should include all the data and calculations that you have made. And in the discussion section, this is the most important part. You need to compare the result based on your finding. You should state the errors and also you should state the precaution steps. And please answer the question in this part as well. For the conclusion part, you need to conclude the finding and it should be a short and precise conclusion. Okay, let's start our first lab report now. So let's look at the first experiment. The title is Determination of the Density of Water. So let's focus on the results section. Here are the data that you have collected. So just write any temperature that you have recorded, for example, 25 degrees Celsius. And you need to read the atmospheric pressure by using barometer, for example, 760 millimeter mercury and also note the volume of the water which is 10 milliliter okay, let's complete this table okay you have three types of um, apparatus burette pipette and measuring cylinder for each of these you have recorded all the masses okay we start with the burette first okay Record the mass of empty beaker. For example, you have 25 grams of empty beaker. You write down 25.0000. Okay, if you see here, we need four, dec four decimal places because we have used analytical balance. Okay, then you record the mass of beaker plus with water, which is 34.9600. Okay, you, to get the mass of water transferred, you need to subtract the value. So it will be 9.9600. Okay, here are the formula that you needed to calculate the density of water. So the density is mass over volume. So you have 9.9600 divided by 10 milliliter. So note that if you use the burette, the volume should have two decimal places. So the answer is 0 0.9960. Okay, do the same for the pipette and measuring cylinder and you will get the density of water for each of the apparatus. Please note that there are difference in decimal places for each of the apparatus based on their own accuracy. 
Now for the discussion part of your experiment. Okay, normally for discussion, we don't write the procedures here. But for this experiment one, uh, you are required to write your own procedures. So we have included in the discussion part. Okay, for example, if you need to write the procedure for BRAT, you will include all the steps that you have taken to record the density of water. For example, you have the first step, the empty beaker was weak using analytical balance, the mass was recorded. So please note that we have used past tense and passive sentence. Why? Because it has already conducted in the experiment, so it has to be past tense and passive sentence. So please write down carefully all the steps that you have carried. Okay, after you have completed all the steps, you need to uh, continue with the apparatus, uh, a different apparatus, which is pipette and measuring cylinder. So please make sure you list all the steps that taken during the experiment. The next part is errors and precaution. So, after you have conducted the experiment, there must be some precaution steps that taken during the experiment. So you need to list all of the precautions and errors that are related to our apparatus. For example, in order to get the correct volume of water, the air bubbles of burex is removed. Or when handling the pipette, you must make sure the ice is perpendicular to the meniscus level of water at the graduated mark. So you can include any precaution steps that you think are related to your experiment. After you have written the procedure, we will compare the results of density. In this part, we want to compare the theoretical value of density of water with the experimental value. So, we know that it is 1 gram per milliliter. So, based on your calculation, you need to state whether, the, whether you get the same value or not. And you need to state the density of water by using different apparatus. And lastly, you need to conclude the most accurate and precise apparatus to measure the density of water. So, either it will be burette measuring cylinder or pipette. And lastly, we conclude with conclusion. So normally, when we write the conclusion, we want to refer to the objective, either it has been achieved or not. So for example, for this experiment, we have two objectives, which is to determine the density of water, and another one to compare the accuracy of the density of water using different apparatus. So for your conclusion, you should indicate whether you have achieved this objective or not. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe our channel. Thank you.